Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Cubase 10 Pro. Today I want to show you a little bit about the beat calculator. So let's say that somebody sent you a riff and you want to work on the song together and you really don't know um, how to get started with the beats per minute. So a quick way of doing that, I'm just going to drag in a file here and copy it in and take a listen to it. Okay, so I could kind of hear the beats per minute, but I can't guess it off the top of my head. So what you can do is go up here to Project and go to Beat Calculator and then uh, play the file and tap the tempo button here and then use your space bar to tap in the tempo. So let's see how that goes. So it looks like it's going to be about 130. So I'll change the project here to 130 beats per minute. And the next thing I want to do is clean up this audio file a little bit. So I'll get some of this out of the way. And hold down the uh, control key on the keyboard and slip it at the, or slide this over until you get it right on where that starts and then drag it to the very next beat and it should snap right in there. So I'll just uh, do a select all and P to get everything here. And I want to find out if this loops. So I'll put this in loop mode. And obviously it's not going to work out because there's a little tail here. So what I'm going to do is just bring that in and then change it here and let's see if that works. Okay, so that sounds like it'll loop. All right. So let's say that uh, maybe you want to speed up the song or slow it down. And uh, the way that you can do that, normally if you uh, have recorded a clip into Cubase is put on musical mode here. But since this is kind of like a rude audio file and wasn't recorded into Cubase, if I click the musical mode here, it's going to have a pretty ill effect on the clip itself. So let's hear what that sounds like. So it's not following the tempo here anymore. So the way that we can get it to follow the tempo is to bounce this in place. So you go up here to audio and bounce selection and replace and then click the musical mode and there's not going to be any problem with it shifting. So now we can change this to anything. And it will follow now the tempo. So that works out great because we're going to put some drums on this and see if they work. So what I want to do with the drums is open this up and I'm going to use Easy Drummer. And it has a search function in it that allows you to find um, some drum beats that best match your song, what it calculates. So we'll get this playing and go here to the search. Click Tap to Find. Okay, we'll just go with a beat like that and click show results and then um, it's come up with a few different matches some of them 100% and then it goes on down the line here so let's see how these work So I think I'll go with that because sometimes the 100% match is cool. Sometimes if you use uh, something that's a little different, 
that works out great too. Um, so I'm going to drop this on here on the song creator. Let's see what we got. So. So I'll try something like that and just drop this up here. And let's see what we can do with this. So that's a little longer, so we can just trim this, put it in there, and then uh, maybe use a source file that was a direct match. So now, since it's uh, been beat calculated or calculated in uh, musical mode. I can duplicate this and add in some other beats on there and um, work on that and just work the song out and uh, get it to, into something usable. So that works out okay. So if I wanted to uh, spice this up a bit, you know, I could put it into uh, my own bass effect track and uh, make it really nice that way. Um, so that concludes this tutorial on how to use the beat calculator uh, to get your project going if somebody sends you a file and you want to start working on that together. And I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate that. I'm really amazed. And just thank you. And I'll try to keep coming out with tutorials as we all have to stay home now uh, with this virus going on. So hope you're doing well, and God bless you, and be safe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial now. Bye.